25% tariffs on steel? No. You will have protection for the first time in a long while. Yes, a tariff protects some American steelmakers. But what about the millions of companies that make things from steel parts? They're all going to be hurt. Did we learn nothing when we saw the damage done when President Bush raised tariffs on steel? And consumers are going to be hurt. What's been allowed to go on for decades is disgraceful. Trade is always under attack. During the election, the bad guy was NAFTA. There has never been a trade deal as bad as NAFTA. Many Democrats agreed. NAFTA cost us jobs, 850,000 jobs. But he's just wrong. NAFTA's reduction in tariffs and trade barriers did good things for America. Millennials love avocado toast, avocado anything. Take the current avocado craze. Authentic, nutritious, creamy avocados. It wouldn't have happened without NAFTA. Because in winter, American avocados are scarce. But in other parts of the world, avocados are in season year round. Avocados from Mexico. Today, Mexico provides Americans with most of our avocados, and we pay less for them than we would have without international trade. But the imports did not drive American producers out of business. The iPhone is the result of years of innovation. Trade also makes new things possible. Apple gets the special materials it needs for iPhones by going to the Congo, Mongolia, Egypt, Brazil, 63 countries in all. Extract silver and platinum from the main logic board. The materials are shipped to smelters in 34 different countries. Apple could do more of this in the United States, but different places offer different skills. Turkey and China are good at smelting. Digging through rock is cheaper in Mongolia. And so on. Apple then ships its refined metal to a bunch of other countries where it's assembled into foam. An aluminum body and foam sheet of glass. Still, that's just a shiny piece of metal, glass, and plastic without the software. And for the first time, you can actually define the light in a scene. The highest paying jobs are those held by techies, most of them in America, who design the software and program the phone. This is iPhone 10. This phone is possible and affordable only because of global trade. This is a strike at the heart of Michigan. But what about trade's downside? Before NAFTA went into effect, there were 285,000 auto workers in Michigan. Today, that number is only 160,000. Trump is right. But that's mostly because robots now allow car makers to make cars with fewer workers. The total sales of cars and car parts are up. Americans prosper. When we specialize in things, we produce most efficiently. Things like high-end machinery, energy, intellectual property like movies, music, medicine, internet startups. Not only do Americans make more money producing those things, the jobs are better. Farming and factory work are much more dangerous and physically demanding. Would you rather your kids work here or in an air-conditioned office? Finally, Trade hasn't reduced the total number of American jobs. Today, a record number of Americans are working. It's time to stop applauding when politicians say ignorant things like this. Not only did I oppose NAFTA, I stood on picket lines with workers in opposition. He and those workers just don't understand what creates a better life for people. Yes, trade hurts some Americans, but many more are better off, much better off, because of trade.